The reduction of KQ's half-year loss from 12 billion to 5 billion shillings has been cited as among the reasons why its pilots believe the airline is destined for better times ahead. This, together with the removal of former Chair Ambassador Dennis Awari, have seen the Pilots Association formally withdraw a strike notice issued on the 11th of last month and deferred last week. CALPA's Secretary General Paul Gishinga says they are confident that these developments will positively impact on Kenya Airways' recovery strategy. But I can tell you for sure uh, we believe that change is imminent in Kenya Airways. The airline, which posted a 26 billion shilling loss in its last financial year, stated that it should be bouncing back to profitability in not more than 18 months. KQ's new chair, Michael Joseph, recently emphasized on the need to restructure the firm's loan obligations as they are a way to bring on board a strategic investor. We all need to try to bring Kenya, Kenya Airways back to its profitable Pride of Africa airline. On Friday, the airline is expected to make major business announcements touching on its recovery plan. Patrick Igunza, Citizen, live at 9.